We gotta do this. <laughs> we all had to do a smirk. <laughs> To another episode of your favorite podcast. Your favorite your podcast. Your mama, your daddy, and your On the midnight hour. It's my favorite too, yo. For the real. physics study group. Hashtag TPSG. For How you sure, fellas sure. doing today? You know I can't complain, man. Okay. I'm blessed. Highly favored. Yeah? Yeah, man. Liddy again. Liddy again. <laughs> great. Doing I mean, great. I'm like Fan Lucci, <laughs> PMB Rock. Yeah, let's not with the PM. Every, right. every day we live. <laughs> but feeling, um, feeling vicious like Skepta on that new EP. I feel you. Shout yeah, out that shit slaps. Shout out at London Grime. That shit slaps. Yeah. Word. But you know who it is. It's your boy, I seen black, aka Swiss Army nigga. Ooh. Every time. Swiss. Army nigga. Swiss Army nigga. Swiss. Swiss Army nigga. Right. Yeah. And you know why that works? Because there are a lot of different niggas in the Swiss Army nigga. <laughs> so it covers all your oh, nigga bases. Can I break down my philosophy? Oh. Later. Later. I got you. <laughs> they ain't ready for the manifesto. You know, Swiss Army nigga is a real movement, my nigga. You know, they ain't ready. You can be part of it too. <laughs> Just sign up. And so- anyway, anyway, this is your boy. <laughs> None other than Jormatic, a.k.a. Wave Chappelle, a.k.a. Ooh. Wavy McGrady. Hey. The Crooked Eye. <laughs> a.k.a. Black Galifianakis. I didn't. I haven't uh, heard that one in a while. <laughs> AKA <laughs> NDN. No do rag necessary. Oh my God. Oh God, is he done yet? <laughs> I know. AKA. Oh my God. I'm not. Done so yet. moving right along <laughs> still going to on. the next. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy David Bomaye, AKA Debo What Bike, <laughs> AKA. <laughs> NDN <laughs> nondescript nigga. <laughs> nah, nondescript, I, I ain't gonna rock with that. Suspect. Oh god. Yo. We got a good episode for y'all. Yeah, we definitely do, man. For shiggity. <laughs> but before we jump into that, we gotta let y'all know where to find us, of course. Oh, absolutely. Um, we can find us at TPSG Podcast on Twitter and on IG. Uh-huh. Um, and you can also Google us because we're, we're hashtag Hashtag Googleable. Googleable. Yes, we are. Millie Rockin. Uh. On any blog. You know. Make sure you <laughs> drop something in the uh, comments. You know, it could be anything. Or I just fed my bruh. cat. That's cool, man. That is cool, man. Cats need to eat. Yeah. But your cat's happy. And they like I just here. washed my car for the first time in a month. Absolutely. Good job. Yeah. T- tell us about your day, guys. Just yeah. put it in the comments section. Cleanliness <laughs> is next to glass. We're going we're gonna to press that heart button. Absolutely. Now, okay. guys, um, you noticed something, right? No. Didn't nah. notice anything. Nah, nothing is different at all. We are missing Black Stallion. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yo, I forgot about I that nigga. Like, oh, something's different. Yeah. <laughs> you know I what I'm saying? I think, we, I think we left him on the 32nd floor or something. I think that's oh, exactly what happened. On our way up. Yo, remember he, he, he ate half that edible? He's like, this shit ain't strong. 15 like minutes later. <laughs> Look like Wendy Williams. He skipped yeah. being high. He just went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine shit so strong to put you to sleep. <laughs> oh, it's happened. It's happened. I mean, no, it hasn't. Yo, the last time I ate an edible, I, I, I walked into my high. I felt it happen. It was so strange. That's cause I, that sounds I went intense. From sober to high immediately. Yeah. That's scary. It's like a wave. It, it's it's like over you. It's well, like that's I scary if you ain't used to it. A portal, a portal or something like. They're like, oh shit, there it is. I'm tapping the. I've entered next the Stargate. <laughs> I'm tapping the person next to me. I just, it just hit me. I just, just yeah, stopped. like you, it. and you really <laughs> thought that everyone else is excited as you are. No, they was like, all right. But everyone's like, all right, man. Like, like, fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're thinking in their head. <laughs> but yeah, you know, uh, Mr. Flockazula will be sober soon. He'll be back soon. Yeah, he'll be back. He's just taking an accidental ninja nap. So, um, he gonna wake up like, damn it! <laughs> it happened. I forgot to record an episode. <laughs> nah, but hey, what? 
there's some real quick before we get into this. There's some real good new music out there, and I've been I've had a couple mm-hmm. or three about three things in heavy rotation. Okay. Um, in the whip right now. What you been about? Um, then? I would say first and foremost, Big Crit. Okay. Forever is a mighty long time. Mm-hmm. I've always been a fan of Big Crit since mm-hmm. Return of Return of Forever. Hey, quick question. Um, quick question. Mm-hmm. Is Big Crit better than J Cole? Don't answer now. I I hate these questions. They're different, man. They make you pick against your favorites. That's why you hate them. Now, honestly, <laughs> Big Crit has the ability to keep you interested mm-hmm. much longer. And if you listen to J. Cole, you know what I mean. You might get shot for that statement. Yeah, no, for no, real. No, no it, I, I have no <laughs> problems with J. Cole, but I'm saying like the energy in Big Crit's music it kind of stays at a certain level all the time. Okay. He has that. You get what I'm trying to say? Okay, okay. You I know, guess I didn't explain that very well. But no, like, no, no. I, I, J. Cole will take you on an emotional and even a, like the, the energy of the album is different. And mm-hmm. I mean, Big Crit will do the same, but even, I guess it's the way he makes his beats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. And his samples, they're big sounding songs. Yeah. Uh-huh. And there's a lot and there's always a lot of bass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it and you just is it's like a full sounding joint. And he it's it's like he if you if you up there, if you blazing one, it's where like, you, yeah. you the music Yo. just takes you dog. Big, no, big no, Chris is slammed down J. Cole's uh the layup, the finger roll. Oh uh, nah we even say that. Nah, J. I was Cole, gonna say J. Cole nah, you know dunk, what? but Big Crit is a through the leg dunk. Nah, okay. Okay. J, you know J. J. Cole be finessing but he be yeah. he be slamming some dunks. No, man. but he not to make it about slamming J Cole, dunks. but he oh kind of he kind of like he kind of fell off on the energy side because early J Cole was hungry, like grown seven. Oh yeah, the warm up. He, he was he was rapping harder, but once he got more famous, it was insane. Now it's just more introspective, J Cole. Because no, no, you no. see where his headspace is at, and I still enjoy it just the same. No, and, no, no. That, that's the point I'm making. It's yeah. still good, but it's just not that same energy. But it's still great music. All in all, every artist is gonna grow. Yeah. Exactly, and uh, and and go through changes and still have that same feeling. You know what mm-hmm. I've been listening to lately? Though? What you listening to? Uh, that Skepta joint. He dropped a little, that new yeah. little EP. That vicious. Just, yeah, 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 you yeah, yeah, you played that yeah, shit yeah, for yeah. us earlier. Fuck yeah. what you had, my, my G's are the worst. Uh. <laughs> Yo, I gotta move to London for a year just so I can go in the grime scene. Dog. Hey. I just want to. I just want to be around it, man. Mm. That's just you. dope. It's a ton of energy too. And Bullshit. Then, and it's funny have, because like where the mu- American music, American hip hop. There's a lot of fillers. There's a lot of ad libs yeah. in the songs. Whereas with grime, there's no British hip hop, there isn't. They they mm-hmm. use their vocabulary to the mm-hmm. best of their ability. Like they'll fill those spaces with actual mm-hmm. words. You feel yep. me? So and, it's interesting to hear that. And what's dope about it is because like don't get it mistaken, a lot of people will say grime is just British hip hop. It's not. It's actually born from its own kind of thing. And they're British MCs spitting over the influence of. Ga- a garage music, you know, yeah. from back uh-huh. in that yeah. dance mm-hmm. garage and that early '90s da- British yeah. dance music. Okay, that's why a lot of it sounds different. You know, it's like really all electronic sounds. Okay, okay. And, and, you, um, and 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 uh, but it's sort of a, it's more meshing with hip hop now too. Mm-hmm. And obviously, you know, you have people putting you know hip, different artists mixing together with UK and uh, and America. But what you was gonna say? No, no, I was just gonna say, and it's also like. Uh, a heavy reggae vibe in it too. Oh well, that's definitely because like yeah. that's that's the influence of the Caribbean yeah. in yeah. Britain, in Britain in alone. Britain, yeah. Like a exactly. lot of Caribbean immigrants. Like yo, AJ Tracy, a real dope grime MC. He's Trini, mm-hmm. and he's dope. He got a joint with Denzel Curry. Shout out three hundred five, yo, from the from London. From, I from London to the 305, man. Den- that Check that out, man. Denzel Curry. From London to the 305. That AJ Tracy featuring Denzel Curry <laughs> and JME, which is Skepta's brother. But um, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a lot going on in the music scene out there. Yeah. But grime is different. Um, at the same it's, time, it's just, it's like hip hop's cousin, kind yeah. of, because it went through the same struggles too. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. They tried to shut it down, and it's really mm-hmm. it, they're going through a, like, exactly what you're saying. They're going yeah. through a lot of the things that hip hop went through yeah. ten years ago. You know, and, what I mean, they're they're finally yeah. coming to the forefront. They're finally taking. And it's like a revival, and it's beautiful, man. Them boys out there winning, man. You been listening to anything new? I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. Recently. Not really. I've been having shit on rotation, like okay. that old shit. And even though his album came out like last year, I believe. Uh, you only live twice. 
I've been bumping a lot of Freddie Gibbs, okay. like okay. new okay. and old you Freddie love- Gibbs. Like I'm going back to his mixtape. You love Freddie Gibbs, man. and then yeah, no, nah, no, nah, he can spit. Oh, you know what I'm saying? He's he's not a joke on the mic. It's still it's still enjoyable too. You know what I'm saying? So he can Word. yeah he can oh, yeah. spit Freddie like Freddie Gibbs the lyricist. Yeah, exactly all day exactly, and he can spit like these new young niggas with that little fashion and that. And he'll still drop some gangster shit in there. Yeah, you know shout what out saying? Gary, yeah. Indiana, Michael Jackson. Yeah, you're. Yeah. <laughs> um, hey, but one other thing, I'm yo that that yeah, 21 yeah. Savage Metro Boomin oh, and, and Offset yeah. is, yo, like 21, yo, Sa- 21 Savage and Offset first of all balance each other so well with the energies, man. Yeah, one is mad calm like, and one is like because 21 <laughs> Savage <laughs> is like a master of the lazy rap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's a master he of it, man. He doesn't and like then Offset else. just coming with that energy and that flow. Oh, and then Metro booming with the beats, man. It's Yo, beautiful. Travis Scott on the first anyway. Honestly, so. be be absolutely real with me. What's up? Since Metro, since since he dropped, mm. who has had a greater streak than he's having right now? Like this is since he's who on everything. Like who, who since, Metro booming since Metro booming. Blew up. He's on everything right he's now. He's on everything. Every fucking thing. I'd maybe say he's he's producing every other. And you'll hear some shit like that's not Metro. Then you found out it's fucking Metro. And he from Indiana too? No, no, he's from in Atlanta, isn't he? No, nah, he's from Indiana, no, no, no. and he I think blew. he moved oh, to Atlanta. Atlanta. He went to college in Atlanta, so yeah. he blow up. He's not from. I don't oh, remember shit, where in Indiana, but he's from Indiana, Indiana, I believe. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, Metro Boomin's. Uh, he's know, an interesting had person. A nice run. Timbo yeah. had a nice mm-hmm. run. Yeah. No, no, they the had Neptunes nice runs, had but nice like run. as far as like I guess current, I guarantee you eight of the ten like, songs on the top ten on like these hip hop stations produced by him. Metro Boomin is having a Neptunes like run right yeah. now. Like mm-hmm. when the okay. Neptunes was in the early 2000s. The Neptunes got overused, bro. Metro, was, yeah, they did. <laughs> yeah, they but did. It was beautiful. Uh, it was yeah. beautiful because like it, they sound like it didn't matter who they made songs for; it sounded good. And it all sounded yeah. different too. I don't know if Metro Boomin will will reach that status of working across genres. I mean, but as far as well, that, yeah, that's as true. far as having that hip hop presence right now, mm-hmm. Metro Boomin is that producer right now. Yeah. and he's dope. Well deserved, man. That man working hard. He's dope. Mm-hmm. You dope. I, um, I actually saw him um, get this. I got to see him mix live. Yeah, he can even do it live. He's a talented. He's a talented producer. He's not just you know one dimensional. And music yeah. education, real quick. That's real dope. Uh, but music yeah. education, real quick. I've been bumping that uh, uh the Parliament, the Mothership, uh, Mothership Connection. I think it's called. Okay. Um, oh wow. And I didn't realize if you listen to it, and if anybody listened to the Chronic by Dr. Dre, the first one. Yeah. You, you catch like. At least five samples. Oh, I love from that. like from like in the first three joints. Yeah, cause it's like it's like they having jam sessions of just funk. Uh huh. And oh god, it's, it's a crate diggers dream. It is. Right it really up. is. I could see. I could imagine a producer just laying there, just jamming out for a little bit, and then something catch their ear, and and yeah. they go sample it. So um. And they sample the wildest shit, but um. Go yeah. So I guess that's what we're bopping. Yeah. You know, yeah. go, go check out what's hot. And and, yeah. and and if y'all got a suggestion of something you think we should be listening to, because that was a very hip hop heavy um selection right now. But um yeah. if there's anything <laughs> y'all bumping in heavy rotation right now, drop it in the comment section, let us know, because we always looking for new music to listen to. Mm-hmm. And we do listen to everything. Oh, you know what I heard at work the other day? That new Wu Tang album is dope too. I, I haven't it heard is. it. I gotta see it. It's a, it's it's great. It is. It's great. I heard this I heard the song one is my shit. I heard the song Damian Marley and Nas sample for um, As We Enter. Oh, where? Yeah, it plays at work. I'm like, oh shit, it's just dope to hear the original. I, lo- I love yeah. that. I love hearing the originals, man. And I think he's like Ethiopian, the guy who made the song. Oh, really? Yeah. Even better. Of course, As We Enter, Yeah. Distant Relatives, about an album about Africa. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta keep and it they thorough. sample an Ethiopian <laughs> song. That's amazing. And you gotta um, keep it. Hmm? No, no, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. What you was gonna say? No, I was just gonna say, you know, I feel like us being exposed to that at a young age, uh huh, is what made us, you know, like grow appreciation for like different type of music and everything. Like, oh, sorry, I gotta speak up. <clears throat> Energy, you know. Energy, energy, energy. Sorry. Okay, sorry, kind of, um, you know, on a Nimbus cloud right now. Mm. But um, I don't know what you speak of. Yeah, what's that? I'm <laughs> sleepy, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mad sleepy. But yeah, uh, you know, learning as a child, you know, through school or 
I'm good now. I'm saying bring that energy up. Yeah. Oh, my energy. I thought yeah, you were talking about my voice. Like, Sorry. Uh, yeah. It's dragging. <laughs> it's dragging. That's why I'm trying to bring it. That's Sorry. why I was like saying. Yeah. Yeah. Find somewhere comfortable because I'm telling you, the more you move that, the more Yeah. Maybe bring it close. Maybe move your chair closer. Yeah. That's why I did that. And I don't have to move too far. Yeah, and I can still true. sit up straight. Because when you sit up straight, you naturally go and yeah, project yeah. more. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay. Right. You good? Bye. No, I, I'm trying to segue into the radio the skills. Part. Run the rhythm. Mm, 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 I'm trying to segue mm, into mm, the creative mm, arts. Mm, in I feel you. I feel you. Oh, you see what I was doing? Yeah, but okay. You, I mean, I, I don't have. You're to still formulating it. through it. That was. Yeah. It. That was it. That Should was we just cool. bring it back a little bit? Should we bring it back? Yeah, but it was low energy for a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's That's do that. Five. Turn. Four. Yeah, but like that's always exciting though. Like finding samples when you listen to you know old school, mu- uh, old school music Skill. and everything, and then like you listen to the samples, and then it just expands your horizon. You listen to different type of music and um you know different genres and artists oh, yeah. people never heard of. You know what I'm saying? It's just yeah, when you find those those producers that are like the producers producer, yeah, you, and if you <laughs> find out a sample and realize that. Uh, DJ Premier sampled a 1920s silent movie for one of Nas' jo- represent, dopest represent. joints. <laughs> then, like, it opens your mind to you know what what you what you can enjoy sonically. Mm-hmm. True, as mm-hmm. an individual. So Absolutely. you know, don't be afraid to explore, y'all. You might find some shit you didn't know you liked because you didn't know it existed mm-hmm. until you heard it from TPSG. TPSG. You're welcome. We getting in your mind, brain, people, and that's patented. So don't take that from me. <laughs> it's so bad. Don't take that from me. It's mine. <laughs> well, uh, Shabby, you actually touched on something that's really interesting. Um, expanding your mind. Expanding, and expanding yes. your horizons. And mm-hmm. there's uh, one particular way that this you could actually do that, I mean, throughout your life, and it's exposing yourselves to different forms of expression, mm-hmm. i.e. the arts. It's especially, especially important for growing minds so mm-hmm. for the youth um, so uh so we're gonna be moving right along into a section uh, about the removal or the inclusion uh-huh. of arts programs within schools now this is all arts whether it be i don't know music programs acting programs uh yeah i don't know yeah um yeah definitely music uh fine arts mm-hmm. like well, Painting, pottery. music, um, dang. So that includes the arts too, huh? Literally and even, yo, know, yeah, that, that's crazy. Like, all right, so music, that includes what? Piano, band, mm-hmm. band marching yeah. band, which mm-hmm. is huge. Um, and then you got um, actual art. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Right? laughs> Like fine arts, like uh, no, so like painting and yeah, uh, painting, learning how yeah. to sketch and draw, mm-hmm. which leads into things like architecture. Exactly. And, um, I mean, and not only just that, like music, it, it's it. There's no. It's the universal language, really. Mm-hmm. And uh, to cut funding on music, and things like that. Oh yeah, no, no, it's raw expression. You know what I mean? It's how how else can you feel someone else's emotion about a certain situation and yeah i mean i'm sure for you guys you, there are so many times that a certain something going on in your life and mm-hmm. i don't know a song or something that has helped you get mm-hmm. through that or cope yeah. album yeah. shit yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. even just song. a sound because like yeah. music taps into um your emotions and your energies that you cannot communicate through words you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying and like so when you hear a certain song and certain sounds it it, it helps you through various situations whether it's anger sadness happiness it, it's there to assist you mm. yeah in now life. i was gonna say yeah mm. <laughs> they actually done mm. a lot of studies on all the benefits uh increased confidence so uh-huh. i mean of course you i don't know you paint in and after a while your stick figures turn into i don't know rembrandt exactly yeah. you'll be feeling yourself a little bit yeah you know what i'm saying definitely increased confidence because it's teaching you the power you have within yourself Ooh. Mm-hmm. to create. Oh, I like that. And it's also teaching you another skill that's going to benefit you in some way. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But not just benefit you, but um, contribute to your community. 
Yeah, that too. And contribute and to the world because, I mean, creation is what makes, is the reason why we have these iPhones. True. And yeah, innovation. And one you know thing leads I mean? to another. Yeah, absolutely right. Yeah, that's true. Uh, another benefit they saw, uh, another with the art programs and also the correlation between arts and kids is uh, increased focus. And that, that, that also makes Yeah, you need sense, focus right? to do, I feel like. it takes concentration. Every, yeah, it takes Heavy concentration, concentration to and learn. going back over it and editing and, you know, fixing mistakes. Like, it, it takes and a lot of focus. To learn an instrument, yeah. honestly, and be good at it, it takes intense concentration and passion to even want to continue. Ex- uh. Because it's the hardest thing at first if you've never played a guitar, if you've never played drums, your coordination, no matter what age you are, it feels crazy. But then once you get it, mm-hmm. that coordination translates into so many other things. Yes. Mm-hmm. And um, I well, guess I hate to sound so bitter about it, but I guess <laughs> I, I've been... I, I'm Do you that, have repressed memories, bro? It's not repressed memories. It's Need actually like upfront memories that make a nigga mad sometimes Ooh. at the system you feel. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> See, the white man nah, just wants to Nah, this ain't the white man. Nah, this nah, is nah. classism, my brother. It's bigger than... Nah, nah. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, in, 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 in all honesty... Um, I'm someone who's been affected by low funding for fine arts in my public school, uh, right here in the county of Dade. And um, 305, take it to the half. Basically, um, where I guess a specific example is where I was in band for a couple of years, and I'd say I was really good considering. And long story short, me amongst other kids who were particularly talented at what they did. And taught and help teach other kids the music. Um, when drum heads break, when instruments you know go bad or need repairing, you that's know, it. A lot of times that's it. That's it. Maybe a Damn. trumpet gets fixed. Maybe you get a new hit this, a new that. But I mean, instruments aren't cheap, and it takes a it, it takes a, a a specialist to fix it, and to um and to uh, or either. Uh, to purchase one for you because a lot of these instruments are handmade, things like that. So funding, they'd rather just take that and throw it into, you know, standardized testing, you know, like FCAT or what's the other, what, the new one now is what, FS some shit? I don't even know. It's not even FCAT Yo, my anymore. nephews told me, I forgot. Yeah, it's some, yeah. It's, it's just some other um, whack standardized tests that they make you focus on more than actual learning and uh, learning skills for life. Yeah, it gets but, you um, a routine. But so I guess I would say that like reasons why I felt discouraged at, you know, enhancing my abilities and this talent that could help contribute to the community at large. Right. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. It dis- you're discouraged because now you got broken drum heads and you can't play drums. Or I mean, even simpler than that, because I'm pretty sure you were thinking about how I mean, or maybe let me not say that. I mean, for you, it could have just been, I want to play drums and I can't play drums because I don't have equipment. That's you know that's I mean? exactly what it was. So it's just the simplicity of this brings me joy. Yeah. I can't do joy because so, so, and so is it taking care of uh, what they're supposed to be doing. What about exactly. you? Well, well, were you in any arts programs? I mean, drama class, anything like that? Well, yeah. In like, I believe elementary, middle school, like when I got to high school, there was, but I mean, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't the same. Mm. But like, luckily, at my school, I feel like the budget wasn't as bad on one end. But you won't really know unless you, you know, really know about it. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody knew Norland, shout out Vikings, for their sports and for their band. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it seems like, okay. Okay. You got what I'm saying, but so the music the, program was funded well. Too. Yeah, the music program was funded oh. very well. Yeah, and and of course the sports, you okay. know, because they, I think they won like five championships back yeah. to back in basketball, some crazy oh, shit. Like Northern, that. right? Yeah, and then the girls won some back, like it's crazy. So like you keep winning, and you know they they're gonna have a reason to fund what you're doing, and the mm-hmm. same thing with their band. Like I re- I remember them winning competitions when I was in high school. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Always going to competitions and. Battling shit, yeah. yeah. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Okay, so, okay. so that's the that's the upside to it. Yeah, and that's what. <laughs> yeah, um, I should. Yeah, that, that's no, the upside. And like, to and it, I'm yeah. not saying that like it was absolutely horrible at my school either. Like, mm-hmm. there were certain other instruments that got more attention sometimes. Okay, and like it just depended on where you fell at that period in time. It's mm-hmm. like when you get into a new job and there's a particular manager training people, and then a year later it's a whole new manager, and 
everybody on the old team sucks, but all the new people are great because the new managers train. You know yeah, what I mean? Train them like, exactly. Yeah, I see what you're saying. It's a different. You that's why you got to be first. You just came brother. in. That's why you got to be multifaceted. Don't get them Any reason not to hire you. That's why you got to be a Swiss Army nigga. Ooh, Swiss Army nigga. Swiss, Swiss Army, Army nigga. nigga. No, in all, all right. seriousness, let me get to my philosophy real quick. Swiss Army nigga. Anybody could be a Swiss Army nigga. Why? <laughs> because Swiss Army nigga is a multifaceted nigga. nigga. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Never okay. judge a book by its cover because you never know what kind of tricks he got up in his sleeve. He might have some scissors. He Who's might have a bottle opener. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he might have advice. He might have pages. Swiss Army nigga. He might have a Series 6 license, nigga. He might be able to sell you some stocks and bonds, my nigga. Oh, he might oh. got that thing on him. He might got the heater tuck. No, <laughs> but um, I mean, it's... yeah, but I do agree with you. I feel like I feel like the um the importance of arts in school should be, um, you know, up there with the, you know, whatever they find the most important. You know, what I'm saying it, it, like it, it demands with the math, attention with science with all with, that, yeah um, it, it demands attention. You know, even like things like wood shop and I mean, I guess stuff like that is not. In as as in demand as before either like metal yeah. shop and wood shop and things like that but yeah. it's still good to learn these a things home those are general life skills yeah um yeah home economics which is now family and consumer sciences really um, yeah it's been called that for years wow I'm like wow, actually we were still in high school like when i think it was changed to family and consumer sciences I don't remember. It's been like over ten years, but I don't know. I remember. I, never, I, I think we had home ec in ninth grade and like yeah. half a tenth. Grade and 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 that's that that gets cut too. So people don't know how to sew. People don't know how to fix their own clothes. They just go to the store and buy a new pair of jeans instead of fucking hemming the jeans themselves. True. Or doing something with you know patching it up when it gets ripped because you don't know you don't you're not taught these general life skills and it's now a consumer based society that's just teaching you to buy things rather than make. And create. Mm. So I guess it's just a vicious motherfucking cycle. Cycle. Yo, I just had a crazy. <laughs> Did my mind just theory. get blown? Hey, let's let's <laughs> yeah. bring it oh. back. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, sorry. My whoa, bad, y'all. Whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa, 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 mind blown. But yeah, I mean, as far as I don't know, for me, I, as far as what I participated in, uh, I did a little bit of. I was in band for a little bit, and mm. back in high school, I, I participated in electronic music. And I mean, for me, it was dope. it was just the joy of being able to to create. And I mean, and just, did y'all use it like on like morning announcements and stuff like that? Did no, y'all get it to? Was, I mean, oh, it was yeah. honestly just for me. So I mean, and it, it, this was during the time when I, you know, we worried about not only your finals and your day to day in school. You're worried about college applications, SATs and whatnot. So it was kind of a release, kind of a way to, to build, burn off stress. You know what I mean? Yeah. Forget about all the, Dope. all the teenager stresses and whatnot. Yeah, true. Would, um, would y'all consider journalism one? Yeah. Journal- yeah, yeah. I mean, you're, okay, you're yeah. writing. I took sure, journalism sure. in high school, yeah. Journalism is Because that ties in with yeah. creative writing and mm-hmm. yeah, you know, I think things, I, yeah, I think things I are too. things that are meant to expand your creativity, which increases you know your critical thinking skills. Mm-hmm. And these are these are these are skills needed for society. And this makes you a well rounded yep. person. We exactly. we have less people working in factories, and we need more products. That's Yo, just really I had I had that discussion with my pops. He said it's a service industry now. Mm-hmm. Like you know, what I'm saying? if you're providing a service for someone, mm. for some people, mm. you know, what I'm saying you're, you you always be in business, like you know, like a nurse, and okay. you know, you have yeah. you have something to offer. You have like and, I can, and, and the, at the same time, it is also consumer based because and the arts was, prepare you for just that because not everyone who wants to go in choir or do vocal, you know do vocal classes wants to be a singer or a lead True. singer you know what i mean like that could just be a part of it but a part of something that they do they may end up being the person who is selling and writing jingles for tv shows yeah them niggas like get you know what I'm saying? like so <laughs> there it's which is a service so exactly. i mean exactly if you're listening out there decision making man <laughs> <laughs> be valuable <laughs> consider consider this hmm. You're going to die soon anyway, so you might as well give the power up to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> no. But, yeah. And so, do you have any, sorry, like a quick solution? Like, what do you think, you know, with... Uh, I mean, I think 
honestly, like like you were saying, as far as the funding goes, we mm. it just as much importance or maybe a little bit less importance as they put in academics or athletics, yeah. athletics. should be paid to the arts and uh, don't I mean I know when times get tough with the budgets or pressures coming in from I don't know wherever pressure comes in from mm. that level yeah that isn't something that I believe should be sacrificed and I feel like I don't know you can it for the benefit of the future and for the benefit of our kids we should really look into mm. to keeping these programs around and keeping them as funded and as operational as possible okay. well i guess and also budgets kind of trickle down from the top you're right you know what i mean it you're starts right. with legislation, legislation congress whatever policy, and then shit. it's like they say this much is for education and the states will do with however much they have you know it, you will do with what you're you absolutely do. Right. so then it gets down to the local governments and then they start to decide how, what money goes where and most of the time it ends up going to like athletics art uh, math Sciences, well, maybe in general, things. the and national um, government needs to, I mean, redistribute money from, I don't know, defense to education. Let's make, let's maybe ramp down our, mm -hmm. ramp down our military, ramp up our education, invest in our people. Yeah. So to answer Jordan's question, <coughs> to answer Jordan Maddox's question, <laughs> it starts with us. It starts with us at the local yeah. level. And we got to go out and vote for the people that care about these things. True, true. And, you when, know, if you when, have nieces when, like, and nephews and or sons and daughters, um, teach them yourselves. You know, teach them what you know. And what's important. Exactly. What you feel is important, like, you know, you know, teach them, you know. Like, I, I, I really, really wish there was a class on taxes. Oh, yeah. Like, how to do taxes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you're going to have that in private school. Yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> or, why you got to pay yeah, to go you have, there. You have that in private school. But well, I mean, I'm sure there's public schools and charter schools that do. It depends on the curriculums that are approved. You know what I mean? Yeah, true. So it's just it's an ongoing thing, y'all. We got to be involved in our communities. If we, re if we really care about what's going to happen to everybody, we got to be involved in the community. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but like Sir Dramatic said, not not just classes on taxes, classes on you know budgeting, or, <laughs> or, I don't know, or, or classes on finances. Oh shit! Oh, yeah, that's shit. Finances, you know. Oh shit! Is that Swiss Army nigga with another segment called Nigga Financial? <laughs> oh yeah, it's your boy Shabby Ranks, <laughs> aka Swiss Army nigga, coming to you live with that. Nigga financial. That's right. Education for your finances, niggas. So what you got <laughs> for us today, Swiss Army nigga? So I'ma just I'ma just start it off with something clean because this is gonna be uh recurring. Oh, vocab word of the day, something that keeps happening over and over again. This is gonna be a uh, recurring Mr. KMG put that on the screen. <laughs> this is gonna be a <laughs> recurring. Recurring. Is that is that three syllables? No. But um <laughs> it's a recurring topic, man. I, I'm, we gonna try to educate y'all boys on these finances or in other words, nigga financial. Beep beep beep. Oh. <laughs> no, no. No, but all seriousness. All right. So does anyone know what an IRA is. IRA. Can you tell me what it stands for? I, I know a nigga named Ira. He lived down the street. You know, he pretty cool. Man, how you know the answer to the question, nigga? <laughs> oh, my nigga, man. Hey, dab me up. I'm, I'm sorry, brother, but that's I not the answer to the question. Everything. Oh, but you baby. <laughs> I run everything. I feel like it was. I mean, if, if, you, if you set up your investments in your IRA right, uh -huh. you might run everything around your shit. Okay. So oh, basically, over, like over, over time, and basically... An IRA stands for Individual Retirement Account. Y'all ever, um, like, y'all ever look at your paycheck somewhere and notice some of your money went to some shit you didn't know, like 403B, oh, 401K, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. or tax, TSA, Tax Sheltered Annuity, shit like that. Yeah. Random oh. names, you just know your money is going somewhere and you just figure it's taxes. Actually, sometimes a company sets up what's called a retirement account for you. Okay. That's mm -hmm. retirement savings. And in general, an individual retirement account is something that a nigga could open up on his own, saying, yo, you could say, I'm going to take well, however much I want out of my shit mm -hmm. and put it in this account and make that bitch grow for me. Okay. And how does that grow? Because it's meant for you to. It's meant to grow faster than a regular interest in a regular bank account. Okay. Because so in a, a bank account, a nigga get like point oh oh one percent interest. So you might get like a penny on a hundred dollars every year. Mm. I'm exaggerating, but some shit like <laughs> that, right? But that ain't 
You can't make money off that. That's no profit, right? So y'all want to know how white people make money? Oh, bring it back, bring it back. Y'all want to know how W's make money? Of course. With I these, don't want to be them, but want that cash. With these <laughs> IRA accounts, man, yo, y'all know about the stock market. Mm. Yeah, y'all know what is, Y'all boys know what a stock is? <laughs> no, tell us what's on it. Basically, a stock is a piece of the company that anybody could own if it's public. Mm -hmm. okay. Y'all heard about Facebook IPO and all that bullshit? Yes, that, that you I've don't heard understand. Of, yeah. So uh, basically, an IPO, IP, it means that it went public. So you can have an investment account like E-Trade, Scott Trade, them commercials with the baby throwing up. Mm -hmm. You could go onto that website, <laughs> yeah. sign mm -hmm. up, buy a piece of Facebook for $100 or however much it costs. And then if Facebook releases some new shit, that makes more people want to invest in it, now you just done made money off of that because you own a piece of the company. And now you own pieces of their profits also. You could get stocks and bonds, which are work similarly inside your IRA. And that's how your money grows quicker. So if you invest in Apple, and there's a bunch of people, the iPhone 10 comes out, and Apple makes a killing off that shit, mm -hmm. That means they stock go up because they have more profits, but they distribute the profits. They split the pie amongst everybody that owns shit. Mm -hmm. Split the and pie. And if you own pie, a stock, please. that's ownership. So now you got more bread. And the goal is to buy more and more of them bitches so that they can make you more money in a short amount of time. Okay. Exactly. okay. Yeah. All right? Okay. So that way you're making money while you sleep. Oh. And that's how they keep getting richer than us. Like a boss. So that's it, man. I hope I broke it down for y'all good enough. No, you broke it down. Cause I'm, um, if my phone was a dying, I would have invested in some stock right now. I mean, and you don't, you don't even have to invest in a stock. You could get an IRA. And some IRAs have funds that are made up of big companies like Apple, McDonald's, Best Buy. Companies that you know going to make money. I'm sorry. I can't support And you keep putting your money in that pot. I'm just giving examples. <laughs> but if you it. keep putting your money in that pot, it's going to spin around. And the more dope products they bring out. The more dope services, the more money you make because it's the more profit. So they just like bundle it together for you. Exactly. So you don't got to do all the... And that shit keep growing. You don't got to go like in depth with each company or nothing. Like. You don't have to if you, you know, pay a little a little fee to see a financial advisor real quick. Okay. 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 Go to a Christian financial advisor. <laughs> hey, he he going to be he, honest. He can't lie to you. All right. Sanctify well, this cash. Yeah, but that's... I'm going to be real, okay? Uh, but that's a wrap for nigga financial... That's the first edition, y'all. And I hope y'all understand. Hey, but if you're making 10000 a year, don't get an IRA, y'all. It ain't cool. You can't yeah, afford no, no. That. Hustle up. You can't afford that, man. Hustle up so it can but work you, for you. But if you're making about 30000 a year and you're living at home with your mama, put some money away. Yeah. Straight up. Because right. the apocalypse is it's coming. fucking coming. <laughs> you know what else we, is coming. It's you, about to be Mad or, Max or Fury Road know, in this you, bitch. You, you, might better, need to, you might need to cash out some of You better wipe up a girl with a metal arm. What if you get you, you end up getting married one day and you need, The fucking you need apocalypse <laughs> comes. <laughs> nah. nah, let me stop. Hey. No, 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 but that is true. I mean, especially, you know, at some of our advanced ages. And you know what our type of lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? That that is something to invest in. And what's most important about that, mo a lot of <laughs> IRAs, most IRAs are sheltered from from tax. Okay. Meaning while the money's growing, it's not income. It's not money that you're using in your pocket. It's in mm -hmm. a tax shelter. So you keep gaining interest and you don't get taxed until you pull the money out of that. Okay. All how right. much is how much it gonna take though? It's gonna be like for an IRA is ten percent, but that's like tax you get from your pay at work anyway. Okay, okay. And they have some tax deferred IRAs where the money doesn't get taxed before it goes in. You can do that. Okay, that exists. Which so, one would you suggest? I'm not gonna make no suggestions because I ain't licensed for that <laughs> shit. So I'm just letting <laughs> y'all know what's right out there. This I nigga see. financial how education. Can, not how nigga long can <laughs> I just like keep money in account without, you know? Long, Withdrawing man, or it, depositing. Just it depends it on the company, but some companies okay. don't give a damn. You could put ten dollars in there and leave it forever, and they don't <laughs> give a shit. For other, real? <laughs> other companies may require you to take a withdrawal, but any once you turn a certain age, you got to start taking out these tax sheltered accounts because the Uncle Sam gonna come for his shit. Damn. Okay. Yeah. okay. So that's why you got like millionaires putting money away, and that's why they got to learn other ways to funnel their money through different tax shelters so they can save the most. Damn. It's a different game, man. They just yeah. don't teach us about it in public school. 
<laughs> yo, w- would you and be willing why. to teach a class on that? Let's say we went to your old high school. Nigga, if like, I, yo, if you I pay, learn enough, if this you pay deep. me so and so, <laughs> I'll hey, teach this class. Holla at me in 10 years when I got this shit on lock. Yeah, right. I ain't gonna but you're going to be like 69. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> nigga, I'm only 19. <laughs> <laughs> How Both could you say niggas. this about me? That's what you Both tell the girls. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. Both uh-uh. That's what I tell them girls. Nah, I just got a beer early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's only one, two, my voice ten grades for no reason. <laughs> that's that's just paint in my that's, beard. That's a frog <laughs> in my throat. <laughs> nah, I mean, <laughs> this how I always sound. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, and I'm a mama car. I am a mama car. <laughs> Matter of fact, I gotta go. Um, I gotta go for gas. So you coming tonight? Anyway, you stupid. Man. <laughs> but yo, fellas, I meant to, I I meant to mention it earlier. Yeah, it's hoodie season, bro. Ooh, it is the beautiful city of Miami, Florida. Oh, this weather's been perfect, except the rain. Oh, side note, you want to know when you know it's gonna rain in Miami? If I wear a pair of shoes that have a clear bottom, because <laughs> you know when they get wet, they get yellow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I rarely wear them. Like, you know I'm going to wear them today. Boom, it fucking rains every fucking time. But anyway, the, it's the weather's been perfect. It's inevitable with them, man. I just don't give a damn anymore. <laughs> the, the weather's been perfect lately. It has been. And, you know, it's that season, fall season. Yo, but it's abnormally perfect, dog. That shit ain't right, man. South Florida don't get cold I mean, the first day of fall. That shit's weird, man. Oh, I'm telling you, the fucking? apocalypse is coming, man. No, the apocalypse is around the fucking corner. Yeah, <laughs> no. Um, or it could be harp. Harp? Oh, I'll tell you harp. about harp later. H a a r p. Oh, I'll tell you about it later. Is it like anyway? Hispanic a a r p or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Jamaican a a r p. What are they? Harp. <laughs> <Hop. laughs> <Hop. laughs> they ain't no h. Well, in that. Uh, it's there is no h in that <laughs> word. <laughs> Hop. <laughs> oh my goodness. But um yeah, it's that fall but it, season. It would be op though. It wouldn't be op. op. It would be H A A R P, but they don't say the H. Yeah. Op. Yeah, op. <laughs> what is what is it in call op? <laughs> what you call it something? What, what them call it? <laughs> them call it something op. <laughs> Whitney. <him. laughs> Whitney. That's right, my boss' uh, favorite word. We, are, we speak in English, y'all. <laughs> But what? yes, <laughs> but yes. Speaking of mothers, <laughs> yes, I got a doozy for you. <laughs> Let's say what are you fifty. A doozy, <laughs> a dollar for days. Um, <sighs> let's say you went over to your aunt's house. Okay. For Thanksgiving, right? All right. All right. Uh huh. Sounds good. And so far. apparently, there's a new rule. She said she she tells you. That you have to pay thirty dollars <laughs> for a plate at Thanksgiving. I'm just it. gonna dive right into it. It's really no. I'm gonna tell her. You I'm can't going really to ease into that. <laughs> I'm going to the five other houses I got invited to for free food, <laughs> and yeah, I will like, come see you after. <laughs> like I, I saw that debate on Twitter, and like the jokes were flying. Yeah. Like those gifts, like oh your your face when you walk in, and your auntie say what the thirty dollars that or some shit like that. I saw one that said. When your auntie tried to charge thirty dollars a plate, but you used to watch your kids for free when she was on crack. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Oh <laughs> damn!" What was the picture they used? That's um, probably heavily relatable to many. I uh, remember um, that gif. I just he, he just was sitting in the car. He's like, he's like looking around like that. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but um, yeah. I don't imagine, know. bro. Don't let it try me like. Like, that. if you nah, want me man. to bring Damn. something, that's different. Yep. Of course, I bring some lake out. You need stuff it. Bring some. I will bring Hawaiian something, rolls. but thirty dollars a plate. Uh-uh. Get the entire fuck you out crazy, of here, auntie. I, bring some I, cups. I spend thirty dollars when I want a steak. Yeah, at a nice restaurant. <laughs> yeah, at a real, real nice restaurant. No, not real nice. Real nice. Can't let them know how broke. Honestly, though, mm-hmm. I think that's Roadhouse kind of takes away from Texas the, Roadhouse. Uh, that takes away from the spirit. The, yeah, like the whole idea. Yeah, the idea is sharing, and exactly. I mean, can um, I be a downer? I'm not gonna do it. Don't do it. Yeah, let's not because they. I mean, because like, you could just say fuck Thanksgiving altogether anyway. We talk about Thanksgiving. Well, yeah, that's true. I mean, what it represents eating the sacred you call bird it of, a, of the Native Americans. You call it saying, Thanksgiving. I call it holiday hell day. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I use it as an opportunity to enjoy the people I'm close to. I exactly. Do. That's what I use it for. Exactly. And you I notice know. a lot of people are going away from turkeys. Turkeys are never. I mean, I mean, I mean turkey is flames. It is. I'm yeah. Sorry. After, after they after they literally set turkey? themselves on fire from fr- trying to fry turkeys in their front yard. Oh, they just don't <laughs> know how to cook. You never <laughs> mix ice. Because it was frozen, that's why it yeah, did that. You don't yeah, mix yeah. ice with hot oil. Are you kidding me? Dumbasses. Like, like, <laughs> like I used to work at Wingstop. If I ever threw a frozen wing in there, bop, <laughs> <duh, laughs> it was over. That shit gonna fly right back <laughs> out. Go scrap for real. Like, <laughs> scrap. That shit hit me on my arm one time. I thought I was gonna die. Like, I was like, oh, this is it. Scrap. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> But um, just sauce, <laughs> just sauce. So imagine I'm paying you thirty dollars, and your husband can't fry a goddamn turkey. <laughs> nah, we fight. Excuse out. me, we fight you can't fry. What is hurt? this? I paid thirty dollars for this. What is this? All right, you thirty and fucking Uncle dollars. Uncle Melvin, meet me in the driveway. We go. We about to score. Uncle Melvin. Right? Nah, nah. We go square up. We go square up. You sixty seven now. I think I can beat you. <laughs> you know, you know if I person. whoop you, I get free food. Uh-huh. What's up? Fuck the thirty dollars. Throw them hands. Yo, my <laughs> mic's still on. We could just slap box. Who I could you be? Like you not even my blood uncle. My auntie related to me. You just. <laughs> but anyway, thirty dollars, bro. Thirty dollars. I'd, nah, I'd, I'd be assaulted more than anything. Wait, I, did anyone get snapped the plates or anything? Because I want to see what. Oh wait, it's not Thanksgiving. Nah, yet. it's better be all you could eat. Oh, if it's all you can, no, no, not yeah. even still no. It, it's still no, but it, it, like don't, yeah. don't try me. Don't give me thirty dollars a you plate. Can, you know, don't try me. This your that. third. It better plate. be unlimited sides <laughs> and proteins, for real, and greens, lots of greens. Like you better keep that shit coming. <laughs> if I'm gonna spend thirty dollars, no. like for real, like they, no, you, I can't walk up and there's no more macaroni and cheese. No, uh-uh. nigga. There better be mac and cheese for the whole month. Whole night. night. For the whole Don't fuck with me all night. Ain't no... Yeah. There better be unlimited I, I birds. Give me a double portion in the beginning, too. I should be able to wake up There's the always day and be like, I'm about to have mac and cheese for lunch, <laughs> breakfast, and dinner. There's always leftover cranberry <laughs> you know anyway. I want three to go. Nobody place. likes... Cra- Why do y'all like cranberry? What cranberry with the turkey? I can't eat turkey without a cranberry, what, man. Put some gravy on that shit. Oh, nah, I can crack eat the gravy ass. with you the cranberry. <laughs> I eat the gravy with the cranberry. Oh, Sheesh, you too much for me. Yeah, I had a, your palate is not refined. You don't have a Swiss I Army beg palate, I beg to nigga. differ. First of I all, beg nigga, to differ. Swiss Excuse Army nigga me. over here has a refined, bougie palate from day one. Like I said, I beg to differ. <laughs> oh, word? My dad's damn near chef, bro. Yo, that doesn't mean anything. That means everything. That just means you have the best... Shut up. <laughs> 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 anyway, but um, yeah, I don't care if my pops cooked it. I'm not paying thirty dollars for my pops either. I'm not gonna fail because you never had to. Yeah, because you never had. You yeah, I was spoiled. I feel you. you spoiled, what? man? Excuse me. You spoiled. Right, so you got the best jerk chicken south of the border of. Oh, north of the border. <laughs> north of the, north of the border. border. Yo, speaking of which, uh, shout out to our boy. Uh, choose wisely. Um, Why we shouting him out? Because. I told him my dad's jerk chicken was the best. He's like, "Where's that?" Then I was like, "You know, just wait. Like, just wait." Next event, I'm gonna bring some, and you're gonna change your mind. You know what I'm saying? Okay, then. Well, shout out to Chew, Chew, and Chew. and, um, and yeah. go download that app. It's on, it's Truck on, the, it. um, it's on Google Play, and it's on the App Store. And it's called check. Truck It. That's T R U C K I T. Mm-hmm. If you want to find out where your favorite food trucks is at anywhere in the U S., download Truck It, and you will find it. Yeah, and they are adding food trucks daily, daily, daily. daily. Every single day. And the more people that download the app, obviously, the more trucks the are added. So those more obscure food trucks that you food truck junkies love, download Truck It. And you're going to be able to find where they at all the time. Absolutely. All right. So Especially let, in South Florida. So let me ask y'all boys. Would y'all ever charge? I mean, I mean, imagine you invite your family, these gracious people into your home on Thanksgiving. They eat up all your food. They put your feet up on, put their dirty ass feet up on your couch and on your table and shit. <laughs> they badass kids breaking shit all the time. God you damn it! Would you ever charge thirty dollars for Thanksgiving dinner? I mean, you could prepare since you know your family is full of degenerates. Okay. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Well, I mean, for compensation of your time, thirty dollars for all the time you had to go out your way. To I would never, extra preparation meal. I would not no, charge my I, family I, if I took the responsibility of hosting. I would not charge my family. No, That's I couldn't do crazy. that. I couldn't do that. I respect. That's that. crazy 100%. because like 
That's crazy, man. It's your family, man. How often do you get to see them after you turn you 16 years old? Like, for real. How often do you see your family after Not you're that often. a teenager? You know what I mean? Not like, that often. I feel you. Might as well, you know, you can't charge them for their time, their food, unless it's some kind of potluck plan where y'all need to pool money because y'all broke. Okay, that would make yeah, sense. Yeah, so broke. Right, everybody put down thirty dollars, <laughs> and Someone I'll get shopping. everything because yeah, I'm nah. the best cook, and y'all know it. You know, type okay. thing. <laughs> and we could, that would make sense. What if that's the story, and this is just getting blown out of proportion? You know, like the internet do. I'm a, sh- shoot, it, it, it could happen. I got enough cousins for that shit. I mean, if y'all <laughs> just want to shoot me thirty dollars, y'all can do that too. I'll take uh, you know, uh, my score cool. cash is dramatic <laughs> with a dollar. <laughs> so you just got hacked. <laughs> Yo, what's the difference? What's the difference between panhandling and doing that? What's panhandling? Panhandling is people on the side of the street that, you know, ask for money. Well, uh-huh. I, think, I think that's the difference. What's the difference between that and, you know, asking people, oh, yeah, bless my PayPal, bless my cash account. You never see people do that? Or make a go fly. It's oh, on I guess Twitter most a people be serious. Oh, okay, okay. Like, yeah, because they do it as a joke, but, yeah, but some, thirsty niggas will deposit some yeah, shit into it. Yeah, man, that's crazy. Like, this girl's hey, done nothing for you. Hey, y'all, man, y'all women are so smart. Uh-uh. But don't don't go too crazy with it, but y'all so smart. This is where yeah. we're living in? Man. This happens? Yeah. Oh, Pause. If no, I was a woman, real. I'd play no these way. niggas so it's much. If I was a woman, I'd be getting some, yo, I have like five PayPal accounts. <laughs> I have two Venmos That's and crazy, three yo. Square Cash. Oh, yeah, I'm going to send you the picture. Just, just and I would have maybe three Facebook accounts. Nah, I'm good. Damn, you'd be a thotty, bro. I wouldn't be able to be a thotty, man. Some niggas is just weird. They just want you to like rub their feet. <laughs> yeah. Rub my feet. I'll give you, I'll give you tuition. Okay. <laughs> nah, they might need to give a little bit of head. Uh, <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little bit. I wouldn't what? do that. <laughs> I wouldn't have did that. That's where I'm like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> By the way, the pause applied to everything I said prior that. previous, <laughs> uh-huh. prior previous and uh-huh. and post His preempted post prior previous and post. <laughs> Does that? I just that I just just covers everything. Yeah, yeah. whatever. I just double. Yeah, of course, negative. What, but, whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, Thanksgiving's about you know being together and stuff. You know what I'm saying, like. Oh, did you, did you, um... Fuck Columbus Day. Did you run your, um... You said, did you pay? Oh, I got a card. I have a uh, square cash, so... Yeah, you can send me... <laughs> oh, well, I got to activate the that. card. Oh, there's an ATM right around the corner, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Yo, you got Chase? <laughs> Quick pay me that shit, nigga. <laughs> Or how about how about a parent forgets to pay for their jet? <laughs> Kid got a oh, oh yeah, hey, hey, hey what, do do children get a discount, auntie? <laughs> Mommy, why huh, we, auntie? Can, why we can children pay chips? fifteen, auntie? <laughs> Your uh, children eat. You better have a bounce house. <laughs> you be paying thirty dollars for these badass kids. You, know, you better have some kind of entertainment for these kids. Your Be- kids eating ruffles and they rich cousins who daddy's a dope dealer. You better have an They in- eating at auntie's because, you know, he got the money to blow and you, you know. You better have Thanksgiving. <laughs> you too. better have an indoor Mommy, pool and an chips? outdoor I pool. I turkey. You better have an indoor basketball court and an ba- outdoor basketball court. You're going to pay $30. <laughs> <laughs> Am I supporting your crack habit? Is that what this is? <laughs> is this the free crack giveaway? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, don't don't fall into that Dave Chappelle rabbit hole, man. Oh, Anybody Lord ever Jesus. watch Dave Chappelle, you will laugh to yourself about For his real. jokes all day and you, think you, everyone else thinks it's funny, you too. You'll connect every joke and just think about all seasons. And everyone's <laughs> looking at you like you stupid. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I got you'll some have a potluck of potlucks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yo, you know there's people out there that eat Kraft and mac and cheese as their mac and cheese for Thanksgiving? Nah, fuck out of here. Like, Ouch. No, but witchcraft. Are we talking it about like? It doesn't vel- fucking matter. Bake you, mac and cheese. You could fl- cook. You could flip Velveeta you can and flip bake that shit. These, no, it's not. We've the ne- same. I mean, we never did. You got to make it from scratch. You got to make it from scrizzy scratch. You got to make it from. <laughs> you got to make that macaroni pie from scratch. And some people don't want to make it. Like they make it, and it's like a macaroni cupcake. It has all this cheese at the top. It is barely cheese. And there's like no, there's so t- no you got cheese. Everything has to be best. It's perfect. just noodles and butter in the bottom with some yeah, egg pieces in greasy. between. Oh my god! Who and then there's just like sprinkled cheese on the top, and it's crispy. You know who you are. It's Fix like, it. It's like you bite. Wait, wait, wait. You know who you are. Fix it and do it. Do it immediately. Do it. Yo, the do president it. of the company at my job told me. Do it the other day. Yo, yo, yo. It was really weird. I, oh, I wanted shit. to ask him if he watched Starsky and Hutch, 
but I couldn't tell if he was serious or not. He was just like, do it, do it. And I was like, <laughs> gonna do it, sir. Was he white? He probably was. Cool. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> nah, nah, he's. White guys quote movies. He's dope. Black guys. He's actually dope, but um, it was weird. Like, I, I wanted, I wasn't sure if he was down like that or not. No, oh, okay. But I reserved myself. So you didn't want to invite him to the barbecue? No, nah, I mean, it, a lot of people saw Starsky and Hutch, the movie. <laughs> I'm joking. You about to go to that classic Ben Stiller? Do it, do it, do, do it. it. You know what we gotta do. You know what we gotta do. Gotta do it. Wrap it up. Ooh. Wrap that. Shit Wrap up. it up. Where the box at? Well, ladies and or gentlemen, <laughs> this has been your favorite podcast. It's my favorite podcast, y'all. It's mine. It's a, it's your auntie that's charging thirty dollars for plates for every podcast. The cheap ass auntie, but podcast. she might stop listening now because we're trying. It's the to bed podcast. I listen to. Badass kids' favorite podcast. Mm. Your drug dealer cousin's favorite podcast. Yeah, you could play that shit while your badass kids jumping in the bounce house uh-huh. because <laughs> everyone paid thirty dollars a plate and it better come with a bounce house for uh-huh. the kids. <laughs> that shit better have a lobster tail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listening to it lobster you tails know what I mean? while you're chefing up that mac and cheese mm-hmm. with the actual macaroni. And the cheese combined <laughs> with inside the pie. You feel exactly. Me? Not the macaroni cupcake. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All that cheese at the top like it's a high top fade. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? You got a high top. Anyway, I'm sorry. You I, know you I get feel... the corner piece, it look like a high top, man. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I get real. You with know. the sponge brush. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a passionate person when it comes to mac and cheese. Yes, yeah. I might go cook some now, but... um. It has been your boy, Mr. Dramatic, a.k.a. Wave Chappelle, a.k.a. I'm kind of sick, sorry. A.k.a. <coughs> Low Energy McGee. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm kind of under the weather. <laughs> I never understood that phrase. I'm sure it can be explained, but I don't care. Don't tell me. I don't care. Under the... Oh, okay. Man. It's well, your boy, David Beaumont, a.k.a. <laughs> a.k.a. Debo What Bite, a.k.a. What bite? Chico Fantastic of the Fantastic Chico. And you know who it is. It's your boy, I Seen Black, a.k.a. Yes. Black Dynamite, a.k.a. Wade Bixby, a.k.a. Shabby Ranks, blue, Shabby. Blue, blue, blue. a.k.a. Swiss Army Nigga, that Swiss Army Nigga, that Swiss Army Nigga, and you could be one too. Uh. I said you could be one too, yes, you Swiss can. Army Nigga. Fade aside who? You could be one, two, a Swiss army nigga. Swiss army nigga. Fade us out. Swiss army nigga. Take your bombs out. Dude.